so it has, it's a teeny, teeny delay. But. Hi guys, my name is Patrice. Thank you all for being here today. I'm going to be telling you a little bit about how I got here to the public administration program and what I will be taking with me into my career in public service. I graduated from the University of North Carolina Wilmington in 2016 with a Bachelor of Science in Marine Biology. Not quite sure what I wanted to do, I decided to stay in Wilmington and take a job with Marine Quest, a marine science educational summer camp. This really found me my love for education. I then moved to Hatteras Island and started work in a small startup nonprofit, the Hatteras Island Ocean Center. Here is what I really found out that I love mission driven work and doing things to help other people. So I then moved home to Fairfax, Virginia where I had to decide what was next. Did I want to pursue a master's in environmental science or marine biology, maybe looking at a career in education or focusing on my newfound love for public service through public administration. I wanted to find a program that allowed me to do some of all of that. So when I found the concurrent program here at the College of Charleston, I knew it was the perfect fit for me. I could focus on public organizations and mission-driven work while also staying with my passion for the environment. So I packed up, moved to Charleston, and it was one of the best choices I've ever made. Coming into this program, I knew that I was going to be learning a lot about leadership and management. I knew that I was always one to take charge and do what needed to be done in group work to get things done, but was that really what a leader did? Through taking the strengths finder analysis, I was able to see about myself what I kind of already knew. I'm really good at motivating people, creating cohesive works to get things done, but necessarily having that idea wasn't my strong suit. I know that I need to build teams of people around me that have those other skills like strategic thinking. Another thing that I wasn't sure I really cared about coming into the program was policy. I didn't want to go into government work. I thought I was taking public policy to really check that box. Then I realized that everyone has a role in policy. And for me, that role is through advocacy. And I advocate with my work in education. I have the unique opportunity to talk to people every day about how things they do in their daily lives and in the voting booth can really make a difference for our environment. And I want to be the kind of person who knows what to advocate for for myself. I don't want to have to rely on other people to tell me that information. I want to be able to find that data, analyze it, to make informed decisions. Within the field of education, one way that I can do that is through program evaluations. I'm able to collect data on whether or not a program is meeting their desired outcomes and serving their community. Through my time here at the program, I've worked with the South Carolina Aquarium to create an evaluation plan for their structured school programs. This is allowing me to look at whether or not students who attend these programs have an increased level of knowledge and changes in conservation attitude based on attending the program. But why does any of this matter? How does this make a difference? This program focuses a lot on value, creating good for the people in which we're trying to serve. I thought I understood that until someone in this class asked me how what I did provided value, and I didn't know. The more I thought about it, I realized that I provide value, and the value that drives my work is responsibility. I have the opportunity to talk to people about how they can be more aware of their surroundings and be responsible to create a planet that can really work together for what we need. And I'm able to do this through my communication skills. I talk to people all day, every day, and through my experiences within this program and that I've been offered through it, have really given me the opportunities to be able to take hard science knowledge and translate it into something that people can relate to their own lives and understand. But it's important within the field of education to meet people where they are, not make people feel less than. People are all very different, and if we treat everyone the same, they're not going to get to their full potential. Like this cartoon represents, if we treat everyone like the fish, they're going to live their whole life thinking that they're stupid. They're never going to be able to climb the tree in the same way the monkey can, so we shouldn't expect them to. But I've learned a lot in this program. Now it's time for me to figure out what's next. Mm -hmm. While I've loved working in public service, and I can hope to continue that for the rest of my career, maybe one day I'll go back for a doctorate in education. But for now, I'm going to hopefully continue doing what I love. I'm working at a small private nonprofit, and I would hope to continue doing that and maybe develop more evaluation programs to help improve education, especially when it relates to conservation. But I just want to thank you guys all for being here today. Thank you to my professors who've given me all this knowledge.
my friends and family who've put up with me for the past three years through this nonsense, and also to this little kitty who was sitting on my lap as I made this presentation. 